Hello friends. Welcome back. If you want to watch part one of this uh, episode, you need to go to my Facebook forward slash... No, I don't mean that. I mean, <laughs> you need to go to my uh, YouTube forward slash Dan the Art Man. Okay. I am, again, as you maybe can figure out here, I'm doing another practice portrait, caricature this time, of myself uh, in the style of C.F. Payne. And again, if you want to hear the whole introductory introduction, go to YouTube forward slash Dan the Art Man. So I am down to uh, the, the final little bits of pencil shading. It's a colored pencil, Prismacolor, very thin. Prismacolor, the hard kind, the fine, fine point, if you will, Prismacolor. And uh, as you may know, if you follow me, uh, I did one of these last week. I did a portrait of... No, Izzy, you need to be quieter than that, buddy. Thank you. I did a portrait last week of um, Tony Bennett. And I gave myself about a B minus when all was said and done. And uh, so I want to certainly want to do better. One of the things I learned while from the Tony Bennett uh, exercise was that my pencil lines weren't quite dark enough, especially the outlines. Uh, ironically, uh, part of the part of that illustration that maybe turned out the best was in fact Tony's hands, <laughs> because I did them a little bit differently than the, the rest of the illustration. I did them with a harder edged outline, and uh, they ended up turning out better it seems to me, than the uh, than the, his face did. So on this illustration today, I'm going to try to make that correction and uh, do outlines a little bit more firmly. For instance, like the bottom of the lip here. Even though, again, this is not realism. In real life, things don't have dark outlines to them, of course. Um, But Chris Payne's technique uh, does give itself to um, a fair amount of hard, hard outlines in the dark detail. So I'm almost done here. Uh, one more comment about the shading. So if you again, if you go to my YouTube, you'll see how I got this far, and that's quite quite an explanation and a good one for those of you who are artists. Um, so you don't think things just show up magically, accidentally on on a page. Um, one of the other things that I'm being careful to do in, in this shading is keep what I would call a nice calligraphic hand or a nice uh, cross-hatching pattern, if you will. Let me see if I can show you up close what I mean what I mean by that. Um, yeah, here we go. So let's look at this side of the head over here. There you go. Do you see how my lines are are fairly even? And again, up here and in the hair here, they're fairly even. The lines, again, in the eyebrows, the lines look nice. Does that make sense? Um, a little too close. There you go. Around the nose. All of these lines, um, I was careful. The main thing is to be relaxed. Well, the main thing is to practice and... <laughs> have these, these, these movements available to your hand when you want them. And that only comes from years of practice. Uh, you, maybe you've heard my, me mention several times, my dad was a, a pretty good artist. He was not professional by any means, but he was a good hobby artist. And uh, um, the older I got for a number of years, I don't think I, I, major, I majored in art. I don't think and I was a full-time professional artist for a number of years, illustrator, after I got out of college. And uh, I don't think I really caught up to him until I was in my mid-30s. So that gives you some idea of the regard I hold for him. Um, and one of the things especially good about it is he had, again, what I'm calling a, a very good calligraphic hand. He could make his hands make nice marks. 
And that's not as easy as it might sound. Uh, in fact, if you've heard me teach on painting or drawing, I say the, the essence of good drawing, the essence of good painting, is in fact making nice marks. I usually say interesting marks, but uh, nice marks is another way of saying the same thing. I'm just going to do an abstract background here on this painting, but I'll go ahead and darken the corners just a little bit. So again, trying to keep the marks fairly regular and pleasant looking, that'll really go a long way toward um, making the final illustration look nice. I think there should be one more button down here, so let me do one more button. And I think that's it. I'm ready then to move to the next stage, the next phase. Um, which again will be over on YouTube. Okay? And it's going to be translucent acrylic over this whole face. Get good enough. Thanks for watching. Follow me around if you would, please. Appreciate it. Bye bye.